Hello everyone. So, something weird happened at the end of Ape Out. Uh, we just sort of kept talking. So I thought we'd try putting this out and, you know, see where it goes. I might become a thing, maybe. Um, something to note, there are spoilers for Rise of Skywalker in here. Um, and a little bit for The Witcher. Uh, this might become a thing. I don't know what that'll look like yet, but, uh, but yeah, here's a sort of, uh, podcast thing that we did by accident. <laughs> Please get them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah! That didn't get them! Okay. Shit. That was intense. Yeah! <gasps> You're out! It's... It... Ape it, out. Did... You are out. What? Did I game? Disc one end. Did I did I do the game? Do we beat a whole game? I mean, you're out. You we did, did it. it. Holy the, shit! The, we aped out. Oh shit! There's disc two. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> we beat the game. We beat the whole thing, and don't eat. Don't don't look at that. Nope. There's, nope. We beat the whole. Whole thing. Reminds me of all those uh, Hitman levels we definitely beat. Oh god, Bennett Foddy worked on this? Oh really? Yeah. He did He made uh, that game I hate. Yeah, the 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 Fuck that getting guy. over it. Ugh. God, I'm just angry thinking about that now. <laughs> <laughs> well just uh, calm down and think about how good the new Star Wars was. Right everybody? I mean, I'm saying that like everybody hates it, but it got generally good reviews. I'm not going to wade into that one. Is that a pun? <laughs> Were you punning something? I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> this is the inflection kind of... I'm not going to <laughs> wade, wade into, into that, that one. one. <laughs> uh, 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 it's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably cut before all that anyway. No, we're still rolling. Okay. Everybody, go watch oh, your other right. videos because they're all monetized and we make more money. Yeah, does this? Do we just make a podcast now? I think so. <laughs> on, on the point. end screen, just. Uh, um, well, we already talked about Star Wars. Well, we can talk about it properly now, though. Oh, true. So yeah, um, we were talking about Star Wars, and uh, I don't personally think I'm going to like the new one. I haven't seen it yet. But the way it seems to be going is that uh, Last Jedi, if you like The Last Jedi, and I liked The Last Jedi, fight me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, that it, you won't like the new one. If you don't like The Last Jedi, you'll like the new one because they kind of ignore it's, The Last Jedi in the new one. <laughs> yeah, they kind of they, they gloss over a lot. Part of it is you could say character development and that they're different people because people grow. But it was a lot of like, yeah, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I enjoyed it, though. Yeah, I, I did mostly like the Last Jedi. Well, the, well, I didn't like that Luke was stupid because, <laughs> like my namesake, you know, I have a lot riding on that character. And he was like, you didn't like that he yeah, became I'm cranky, a, I'm gonna a hermit help. who sucked on weird alien titty. Alien titty. Yeah, that was that was a weird scene. <laughs> and he was just like, "Wham, Jedi, I need to die." Because he's like, "I messed up once. Like, get over it, dude. You're a Jedi. You <laughs> well, are Luke did, Skywalker." He did. We, By the end, he, he did, did create the uh, worst dark side jedi that there has that well not they're not jedi because they're dark side that's li they can't be jedi because well, was they're kylo dark side. ren a sith technically i don't know if he was a sith but he wanted to be a sith yeah <laughs> uh, but he created the worst dark side wielding power guy beyond even darth vader so of course he's going to be upset with himself <laughs> well, shouldn't he go fight him then i mean he did by the end yeah or cool. he didn't because technically hologram <laughs> <laughs> but he died doing it. Um, Something I've really enjoyed has been reading all the online arguments, acting as if this is, like, real. <laughs> you know? It's like, one way or another, it is fiction. And I enjoy So calm it. down, maybe it's, a little. Uh -huh. Well, there I don't are know. Minor I, I, I kind of get being invested in yeah, fictional no, worlds. I, I do it. Yeah. Not saying nobody should, but like people are getting super into it. And I, it is Star Wars. Maybe not live or die by it. But... And that's what se people seem to be doing. It's like, see, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was very entertaining. Mm -hmm. But you know, it speaks. To, it also speaks to how fucking powerful Star Wars is as a cultural phenomenon. That everybody's arguing about it. Yeah, but to get back to Last Jedi, uh, the only real nitpick that I had with that movie is not. The gambling planet. 
<laughs> despite what everyone says <laughs> yeah um my my biggest issue was the the lady who took over the spaceship after leia was no longer in charge of the spaceship holdo holdo wasn't that her name i don't know maybe um but uh she just didn't tell anyone her plan even though they're her people and it the and plan if she, worked. If she had just told everyone her plan, then nobody would have had to go to the casino planet to circumvent her plan, first of all. <laughs> so yeah. Was, so that gets rid of a part of it that people hate. Like um, all the side quests were kind of because they thought they were yeah, screwed the over. The entire movie was based off of she just should have told them her plan because they're her people. <laughs> but mysterious ways and stuff. <sighs> you know so the way that i would have would fix that movie is give it a better premise well no it can, it can have <laughs> uh they're, they're not she's not telling them her plan because there's a spy on board and they don't know who it is yeah that would have and then that gives a reason for her not to tell people the plan and it fixes um they don't have to create this mysterious new technology that can track people through hyperspace because instead of that they can just have the spy is telling them where they are and you know what i don't think was present in what the new one hmm. was that hyperspace tracking technology yeah because the, how do you progress from that that adds a whole they, they have to work around that from now a on a force field that counteracts the tracking technology and then you have <laughs> you know it turns into six-year-olds on the playground no, -uh, no, -uh, I had a force field that counteracts your tracking technology. But I can blow up force fields with my ultra tracking technology. Well, I have an even bigger Death Star. Lightsaber. <laughs> That's how fights start. Yeah. So Star Wars is bad. <laughs> That's yeah. We were talking earlier before recording, and like everybody likes the lightsaber battles, but nobody actually likes, likes Star Wars. The rest of it. It's just like... <laughs> nobody's ever happy with it no. nobody's like even the know. people who love it the most will say that like half the movies are bad yeah the people <laughs> so that are into it the most it have really? the most problems with it yeah <laughs> my takeaway is that it was damn entertaining and don't take it too seriously <laughs> there are plot holes there are it is not a perfect piece of art yeah but god yeah. damn if no that was not some cool action stuff yeah and that's what i'm in it for well, I think it's going to be the f first Star Wars movie since I've been alive to see them <laughs> yeah. that I'm not going to watch in theaters. Oh, you got to go in theaters. Do I have to? The sound and the... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The sound and the... Uh-huh. <laughs> well, the sound is really good. I mean, it's Lucasfilm. Or Even uh, it's not Or what's the uh, um, studio... Not the studio. Uh, yeah, something light works or light and design. Shit, what is I don't know what you're talking about. Star Wars. Um, yeah, are you talking about J.J. Abrams' company, Bad Robot? No, I thought that would have been a better cut, though. You know how like shows end with Bad Robot. Right Bad at, Robot. Right yeah. at the end when like Leia or uh, Ray, you know, like buries the two lightsabers or whatever. Cut Bad Robot. <laughs> da, 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 uh, da, da, okay, da. so spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> I we, we're I don't care, but we're we're saying this to other people, so I'll probably bleep you. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, light and I'm I'm trying to think. There's that um, light and, industrial light and magic, American motion picture, and they're known company. for good sound work. Well, uh, largely, yeah. I think like Star Wars one, two, three, if I recall correctly, were some of the first movies to be released on dvd that took full advantage of 5.1 surround sound like the mixing was just top notch and the bass quality on some of the sounds you know in was it episode two when they had those like sonic boom bombs oh yeah 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 that those shit you gotta see that for stuff how in shit theaters. that movie was there was some cool that's that, uh, that like one sound design element is pretty fucking awesome I've where been, it's just it has like a little bit of sound just before it and then like silence and then that was cool shit. yeah no it's great it's so great. like after seven eight and nine now i've been looking back on one two and three i still haven't watched them in years mm -hmm. but i've been thinking about them <laughs> and there was some cool shit in those yeah mostly yeah. bad 
Yeah. But there's a lot of yippee. <laughs> and from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Should have uh, won the Oscar. He for, didn't say for it, uh, <laughs> but I think he said, uh, "It's not a face. <laughs> it's not a face, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Stop taking the high ground." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also watched The Witcher. Mm, yes. At least we're we're we are both happen to be up to uh, episode five. I finished episode five. He's. Halfway through episode five. That's why I was late. Yeah. Oh, you were you watching The Witcher until <laughs> right up until like, yeah, I got fuck, I gotta go. got here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, that's worth it. Um, we both really like it. <laughs> and Mark Hamill might come in as uh, Vesemir. That guy. I'm not sure if that'll happen or not. They they'll want to cast it for you know the character and not for Mark Hamill. But you know, <laughs> he would be cool in it. The only name that I know in the show is Henry Cavill. Yeah, everybody else is Everyone else unknown. is uh, just cast for the character. And he's, so was Henry Cavill. He, yeah, he's They They perfect. only cast him because they liked him enough as uh, Geralt. And I see why. Should have been Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Think uh, about that for a second. I will. Hold on. <laughs> this is where you got to put up a crude... Pizza time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just do a crude MS Paint cut out Toby <laughs> McGuire's face on Henry Cavill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does um, this conclude our, our first podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to talk about The Witcher a little more, though? We could. Okay. So this does not conclude our first podcast. <laughs> so I, I really, I don't get why the critics don't like it. Before we talk about that, should we plug our episode of The Witcher that we played three and go watch it? Oh yeah, but, uh, uh -huh. Bad Defaults played The Witcher three once. That was like two years, uh, three years. That was an early ish. We haven't been going for three years. Going on three. Well, it, it, it was summer. two. It was two, two and, and a half years. Two years as of August. Okay, two and a half years. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. <laughs> two and a third. You're really stretching two into three if you think it's three years now. <laughs> yeah, it's two and a, on two and a quarter if you round up heavily to three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> but you know uh so i don't get why critics don't like the the, the witcher series because i can kind of tell but i can't quite put my finger on it you know it's not like <sighs> there's something about it where i could see well first of all i could see definitely people not liking it just if you don't like it well that's just that's... if you don't like fantasy in general right I, I think that's a lot of it yeah some of the specific reviews that i've read have been I've come to the conclusion that the writer just doesn't like fantasy to begin with. Right. And this is not going to convince anybody to start enjoying fantasy. No, you'd have to be pretty deep into high fantasy stuff already to like The Witcher. And part of it that I'm getting the end of is it's hard to keep track of some of the stuff because they just hop in and start kind of going. Yeah. And there's not a character. There's a lot of character names and place names that are hard to keep track of. And if this were written by... And that is a negative of the show. What's his name? Who did... Uh... Angels and Demons and those. Dan Cook. Dan oh, Cook. Oh, uh, you're talking of. Da Vinci Code? Yeah. Um, I don't fucking know. Who wrote those? Anyway, Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah. In those books slash movies, you got Robert Langdon, smart guy, accompanied by somebody who knows nothing to ham fist in all the explanation you need. <laughs> right, right. And The Witcher doesn't have that. So you're left confused sometimes when they talk about things because yeah, you don't unless have, you know you the You don't thing. have um, Dandelion, who's not called Dandelion in the show, and it kind of bothers me. He's called Yaskier. Oh, the bard? The bard, yeah. I was his, wondering, his, was his, that... his English name is Dandelion. Okay. The, the the English translation name is Dandelion. I like his other name better. Dandelion's fitting, though. That guy's kind of well, annoying, Well, like, they use all the like, English really translation well. names for everyone else. But yeah, they don't have Dandelion going like, what? why is Nilfgaard here? <laughs> and also, who are they? And what is their whole story? <laughs> well. <laughs> so. Pull up a chair. <laughs> Pull up a chair and toss a coin to your witcher. Good song. Yeah. Only on SoundCloud. Yeah. But it is by the people, so that's good. The um the the part where Renfrey is is and by the way, see so yeah, like I already forget who Renfrey is. <laughs> There's spoilers for the show gonna happen. Oh, and for Star Wars too. And for yeah, by the way. <laughs> I don't get why Renfrey is a prophet that kind of which one is Renfrey? She's like the lady in the first episode who born of black sun under the eclipse. Uh, and she's like, maybe evil, maybe not. It's kind of ambiguous. Was she like the queen 
person? No, she's not the queen. <sighs> See, I can't remember like who's who. She's like this is the, the trick with the names too. Is I she's just in remember the bar faces. when Geralt first rides in town. I remember that part. I'm trying to look up the face. I'm just getting. Uh... He ends up having to kill her in the street. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, like stuff like that where it's. I didn't know going into it that it was based like the first book is a bunch of short stories. Mm -hmm. So that and makes it really, a lot it really more does. Sense. The first season plays like a whole bunch of four, uh, uh, short stories. Yeah, like series line is like an over. You know, it's progress from one episode to the next. Yeah, but Henry Cavill is kind of off doing side quests. Yeah, and it's badass and cool. It's mm -hmm. not a complaint, mm -hmm. but it's a different. And I think that was one of the criticisms of it was that there's not like a through line. There's not a very a clear through line. line. Yeah. They're trying to make it so that Siri is the through line. Yeah. Which she should be. She is a big character uh, in the games, at least. Um, but since she wasn't in the books, <laughs> at least this early, to my knowledge. I wonder. It feels a little bit forced so are they just like moving her story up yeah to have a, th a another sequence to play through the witcher stories yeah i'm I pretty sure she's barely in the last tactic. wish she was only like just born in the last wish with the lord urchi on story and that's kind of it and thinking about the games do the games go in order like one two three the games all take place after the books Oh, okay. So the games are all made up. Yes. The okay. games are all made up. <laughs> huh. Interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, the games are all CD Projekt Red uh, expansion on the books. It has nothing to do with the author. Interesting. I heard, or read rather, that he, the author was not so keen on the game. Like, apparently some of the, the Only dealings he went got astray. pretty stiffed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that he didn't think it went that on to make a lot was, of money. He was offered a percentage of sales and he didn't or think a lump he would sum. Be. And he was like, ah, these things never do well. <laughs> lump sum. And then it became it, one of the biggest video game franchises ever. And now it's like breaking records again with, with the show. The show and being out, everybody's going back to the game. He's definitely got some money from Netflix for the show. So that's what it and, said that he's. You know, so that's good. Then. And he's like executive producer, like consultant yeah. that they're working with him. Thinking back to Star Wars too, it is really interesting how like the Witcher, they're working with the creator, but Star Wars, they exiled the creator. <laughs> yeah. So you can get him like commenting on well, the, the stuff Well, the creator that's was kind of also the downfall yeah, of the was... thing <laughs> in Star Wars' case. He made something beyond his own artistic ability. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Disney. So midichlorians. Oh. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Okay, no midichlorians. It's like, but wait, what? Yeah, I don't know. If I were to ever become a screenwriter, I'd be sure, like, if you're going to explain something, like, kind of fundamental, make sure you might have a plan for it. Because <laughs> they'd scrap that whole thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. The yeah, Witcher is looking pretty Star good. Star Wars is just, it seems so haphazardly put together. Ah, especially the these last three. Yeah, they had no plan. <laughs> they said, I, I'm trying to think back to Force Awakens. Didn't they say they had, like, everything mapped out and they were just going to hand it around to I'm different directors? I'm pretty sure they said they have a, a trilogy plan and they very clearly didn't. I think the only plan was that we're going to make or at three least movies. didn't stick to it. Yeah, because it was. That's, I think, where the, it suffers from the most. Whether or not Last Jedi was better than. Rise of Skywalker or anything like that. Trying they're to just, go to whichever way the just, wind is blowing at the moment. Yeah, they're yeah. just... It doesn't really have any integrity to it. has to no it. artistic integrity because yeah. it was just trying to be... Whatever. Whatever, whatever it was. Tr yeah. It's like they put it, the script up to a committee, but yeah. different committees yeah. that didn't like each other. So each individual movie... Like, I like The Last Jedi. It's mm. got its problems. Well, mm. The Force Awakens had it. It's, yeah. It wasn't a new movie. It was just a cover movie. Yeah, it was the, it was a new hope again, which was I I still think like what it needed to be to restart the things and I yeah. don't know I didn't have a big problem with that. No, I didn't but either. It's I, just as long as it and... was supposed to move on from that later, but it didn't. Yeah, and the didn't, yeah, the new one is just a bigger Death Star. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, The Last Jedi had bigger Death Star, and then yep. the newest one is even bigger Death Star. It's a planet and all size. And the all the Star Destroyers have... Death, have planet destroying beams oh, as well. Oh yeah, that was in this one. There's more star destroyers with bigger guns. It was like, I mean, it looked again. It was badass, but a, a visual spectacle to be sure. Yo, that's why you got to go in theaters, visual and audio. Yeah, it was fantastic. It's, I mean, I went I in just, over the holiday break in LA. I don't think I want to, and it was six dollars. <laughs> oh, okay, well, there so you go. that was totally worth yeah. It. I just don't think I want to give them the money for fucking up so bad <laughs> we'll go i'll pay so you don't have to give me <laughs> you'll still be implicit <laughs> but yeah and like we we're talking before a little bit and you know people are not happy with the or there's people are divided about the ending but it's like okay how do you tie up nine movies and make it feel like that's, a nine movie hit but, but like that's to exactly make it what, that grand that's exactly where they fucked up is they keep bringing back characters from the old movies that just make a new movie in yeah. this universe. It's big enough. That's what I hope that, like, they're done with this now. I hope they are freed to make whatever the hell they want rather yeah. than, I don't know. I mean, I could appreciate, too, it's one of those things where there, there's no right way to do Like, if you got, if you were responsible for making 789, it's like, shit, what do we do? Do yeah. we piss everybody off? Do we do our own thing? Do we call back to the It's like, there's no... I don't know. No perfect way to go about it. The only way to make new movies in Star Wars from here is to have it be completely uh, lateral to all the stories that have happened so far. Yep. <laughs> they can't involve any of those characters anymore. It's too they need weird a new and format. Sp they spaghetti need a new... logic and yep. Uh, yep. So I'm hoping they take a good long break to think about their choices. <laughs> <laughs> And then just do something different. Yeah. Because Star Wars isn't done. I mean, Mandalorian, I've heard, is pretty good. Yeah, I've heard that too. Some people were complaining. I, I saw that, well, it's just a bunch of side quests. It's like, well, it's whole Star Wars is kind of a Western thing. It's like old Western TV shows and you got <laughs> side quests all the time. And Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. A lot of the complaints I've been seeing about a lot of different things. Even like The Witcher has been just like, well, I, I, I wouldn't have done it that way. Like, that's not what I wanted. It's like, but is it? bad <laughs> maybe some elements are are bad i don't know yeah i find myself being critical of the critics and just wanting to enjoy things but where i tend to align with the critics yeah see it depends on for what like i don't know i'm trying to think <laughs> what i said with, like you know grander epic like shit i'm drawing a total blank but i don't know star wars is like can't be fun in my mind yeah and it was always supposed to be for i mean not always but it was supposed to be in the beginning yeah and then i don't know what happened with episodes one two and three i think the ideas in that were more sophisticated and better but he couldn't execute the writing at all oh god he couldn't because like the republic turmoil, I, the political I would intrigue. I be totally down for political intrigue. Yeah, that yeah. Was, that sounds good to me. He executed it he really just poorly. Was bad at it. So that's when I was excited that they came back, and it's just like, oh, they like remade New Hope with new characters, and it looks better, and blah blah blah. It can't be fun again. Yeah. And then, they, but it couldn't decide if it was can't be fun or wanted to please the critics or be can't be fun or like yeah. she doesn't know what it wants to be. Yeah. One thought I had. So. When you take a stormtrooper's gun and shoot them with it in the armor, it kills them. Why do they have armor? Yeah, that's been brought up before. Uh, yeah, it's like it, 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 they look cool. <laughs> they might as well not be wearing armor and be like more agile, running around like naked. They'd have better, <laughs> equal, not better protection. Yeah, the, the armor seems to, if anything, amplify the effect of the, of the <laughs> yeah. shot. They get nicked in the elbow and they go down. It's like, yeah, really. That's my final thought on Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what happened? Uh, there was something, still spoilers, by the way. There was something about Phasma, where her oh, storyline yeah. was totally. Uh, well, they killed her in Last ended Jedi. With a didn't meh. They? they didn't kill her in Last Jedi. Yeah, uh, Finn killed her. No, I don't think so. Yep. Well, it's been a while, so I can't really argue it other than no. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm. 
largely certain that she did not die in Last Jedi. Captain Phasma, played by Gwendolyn Christie, seemingly falls to her death after Finn, John Boyega, seemingly. breaks her helmet. Yeah, and she, like, fell into the fiery abyss, and, like, she's gone. So, like, could have pulled a Luke Skywalker guy's arm cut Maul. off. Or Darth Maul. Or yeah, he becomes so a spider. Like, <laughs> yeah, apparently I still have to watch Clone Wars. I've watched, like, season one, I think, but... No, I so, thought I mean, there was she like was, a. I thought pretty well. Okay. Declared dead. Well, I guess I was wrong about that. But that sucked too, because it's like, okay, Finn has no training except how to miss because he's a stormtrooper. Like right. he and he takes down the big baddie. Like that. I don't know. I didn't like that. Hmm. That felt like because Captain Phasma was she in Force Awakens? Yes. So that's what it felt like. Ryan Johnson just getting rid of some J.J. Abrams character, and then J.J. Abrams and Ryan John. It's like I don't know. Both directors disagree that they were, like, negating the other ones. But right. there were a lot of moments in, in this last one where it did feel... There were, like, one-liner, just quick... Let's quick just undo miss. that entire... Whatever. Pretty specifically, like, couldn't we just do another hold on maneuver? And then Poe's like, yeah, those don't work, blah, blah, blah. Here's why that's impossible. And I was stupid that it happened the first time. And it's like, <laughs> all right, none of that. All right, then. <laughs> yeah, and it's like... Yeah, it was pretty explicitly a lot of reversals. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Captain Phasma, they they let her up to be like a cool villain. And then this didn't and then she really sh do anything with her. Yeah. Which kinda is uh that that that's pretty typical for how they handled most of the plot threads in this entire trilogy was Yeah. Let's set a whole bunch of stuff up and uh Star Wars! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's why you need a showrunner to tie everything together instead of oh, just handing it doing. off to director to director to director. So Dan Harmon, showrunner on the next trilogy. Direct. <laughs> and directors, you get... Oh, no. Christopher Nolan. Uh, Quentin Tarantino. Martin Scorsese. I don't know if Dan Harmon would be a good showrunner for Star Wars. With all three of those directors, that would be incredible. <laughs> the Scorsese one would Community be like Community is an incredible eight hours show. Long. <laughs> it is nothing like Star Wars. You know, Star Wars needs a little bit more Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Poe. I mean, <laughs> couldn't we just shoot the cannons? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Palpatine is drunk all the time. <laughs> I uh, am the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> See? You just gotta have vision, Reese. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> and listening. And that concludes our... I don't know what the, why that happened. Impromptu podcast. Because I said, no, we're still rolling, and then you listened to me. For some reason. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that could be good. We'll see. That, uh, I wonder what uh, audience reaction might be to it podcasty thing yeah.